As we begin this Lenten reflection, let us listen to the words of our God, taken from the prophet Hosea, in chapter 2. I will lead you into the desert, and there I will speak to your heart. In order to listen to our God, we need to get out of our heads and into our hearts, to take a few moments each day to enter into the desert with Jesus during this Lenten time. We need to enter the desert through prayer. Take a few moments. What do you want to say to your God? Listen with your heart to what he has to say to you. Through fasting, letting go of whatever keeps you from living life to the full, almsgiving, sharing your gifts of self with those who are most in need. Lent is very often referred to as the springtime of the soul. We really miss the beauty of spring here in California. Everything is pretty much in full bloom. If we were back east, trees would be bare, and bit by bit we would see new life coming. And that's the way new life comes to us during these Lenten days. It's very gradual. We hardly notice it. If we're open to God's grace, God continues to pour his love and his gifts into our hearts. Let us be open to receive those gifts. Let us move out of our heads and into our hearts. I've heard it's only 18 inches from your head to your heart, but it takes a lifetime to get there. We don't fall in love in our heads. We fall in love in our hearts. And it's our heart that moves us to choose the new life that God is holding out to us. Let us during these days Let go of anything that's keeping us from living life to the full. When Father Lawton became president, he gave our campus a great motto. The glory of God is a human person fully alive. If we are to live the LMU mission, we must be fully alive. We must allow God's life to continue to grow in us. We must choose life. So as we continue our reflection, let us pray in the psalm, the words of Psalm 51. Create in me a clean heart, open and receptive, so that I may embrace the many ways you, my God, choose to visit my life. Amen.